one evening I was at home alone doing Google searches about llamas and all of a sudden I found the website of Jeff Minter. I didn't know him, I have absolutely no idea about who he really was. <laughs> He's the yak, come on. He's only one. Video games are his whole life. To be making games for four decades. Jeff Minter is an indie video game legend. But to me, he was that guy with the llamas. The whole llama thing came about basically because my parents had one of these Time Life books about South America and it had a, a nice illustration of a llama in it. And I like the look of the llama. I used to reference it in some of my early work. What's interesting for me with Jeff is that guy's working on his own and doing his thing. Jeff has always had the skill to make games by himself. But it was getting to the point where you need more than one person to do stuff, really. I'm well, speaking about other people now. I remember sending an email something like, oh, wow, well, yeah, nice to meet you, blah, blah. That was how I first met him. Our work here is so unlike any kind of normal industry work environment. This is not how the games industry normally works. <laughs> Stuff I do takes a lot of the design philosophy from retro games and lots of trippy new stuff that we couldn't do back in the day. There's a degree of remixing going on there actually. The remixes he's done have been like It was a big problem of a it was for certain people. Atari saw it, felt it was their property and sent a very nasty letter. It was heartbreaking. Working to make something nice, putting your heart and soul into it, and then getting a kick in the nuts as your reward. Rights and wrongs of it aside, it's still a big company. Picking on a small guy who's making great games. You're more exposed on your own. Most coders from the 80s ended up with bigger companies, bigger teams. And that's not Jeff. Now with Giles, Jeff is developing an awesome set of technology. Most companies, when they found a formula, they stick to the formula. I wanted to push out in entirely new directions with how abstract this thing was going to be. But then I go, I was thinking, well, how do you sell something like that? You have this fantastic media. Why not to try to make something really new? The game is never over. Ha <laughs> ha.